Hey everyone, let's have a little chat about ebooks and what I like about them and what not. Because lately most of my reading has been digital and I'm not quite happy about it. But there are reasons for the shift and so let's talk about that. It all started with me reducing my TBR. You might have seen a lot of videos of me talking about that, how I started reading all the unread books I had because I didn't want to have them lying around here for so long. I didn't want to have unread books in my TBR pile for a long, long time and it took me forever to get to them. Or rather, I only read the new books and ignored the ones that were there for a while. So I decided to reduce that and have few books to choose from in my home and on my Kindle, which is my ebook reader that I'm using. And that worked pretty well because it made reading books after I get them possible again and faster and I enjoyed that because as a mood reader I like to pick up something when I'm in the mood for it and then I can read it. If I have to buy it first or go to a store and buy it or order it online then it usually ends up in a TBR pile because by the time it gets here it, I started something else. So reducing my TBR pile made the option of physical books less. Then the pandemic hit and I couldn't go shopping, I couldn't go anywhere, I couldn't travel to buy books where I usually buy a lot of physical books and so I didn't have that much choice of where to get books and also during the first lockdown I developed a dislike of getting packages, let's say, like this. I stopped ordering things online. I'm not a huge online shopper anyways, I prefer to go into a store, but most of my books that I used to buy throughout the year were delivered by Amazon because that's the option I have. If we look at the bookshop store that I have here in Hanover where I go to, there's a very limited section of English books and in that section of English books there's a limited choice of books I want to read. So mostly the books I want to read are not there, there's a lot much browsing going on, so it's not that easy to go into a store and just pick up the book you want to read and then take it home, especially when everything is in lockdown. But even after things opened again I tried to go to the store and buy books but it wasn't as successful as just ordering them on my Kindle. Because what I like about ebooks and the Kindle is that the books are always available. They're not far away. I can buy them and immediately start reading them, which is what I really, really appreciate and like about ebooks. I also like the reading experience at night. I do a lot of reading in bed because I can't sleep through the night, so I wake up a lot and then I start reading and I fall asleep on my books a lot and on my glasses, which breaks them. So with the Kindle I don't have to turn on the light and if I fall asleep the Kindle turns itself off at some point and whenever I wake up again I can just continue reading without much hustle or losing where I am on the page. But that's about what I like about the ebook experience, that they're instantly available, they're easy to read in bed, oh, and easy to read for travel because they're not heavy. That's my most preferred things. I also sometimes like the vocabulary option that I can look up words easier, but I also notice that I do that more while I'm reading on my Kindle than when I'm reading physical books, so I probably look up words where I'm mostly sure I understand them, but oh, it would be nice to have the definition. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's that necessary. It's a nice bonus. But recently, this year, I've read only two physical books and I miss reading physical books, which I noticed as soon as I have physical books in my hand. And there is not only the haptic thing that I want to have something in my hand that feels more like a book and smells more like a book, but there's also the way that I'm reading, which isn't perfect for Kindle. I tend to flip back and forth a lot because I want to see did I get that right, what did I miss, and I don't find it as convenient on Kindle as on books. I know that people can use the search function and do that, but I'm, it doesn't work for me. I don't know, maybe I'm old and technology is just too difficult for me. I have no idea. But that part of the reading really, really irks me. The same as that I never know what the book looks like. I don't have an image of the book in my mind. So the title, the author, the cover page, which is a huge part of reading for me. And I miss that when I'm reading on my Kindle. And I also notice that 
I tend to forget ebooks more, not the content, but that I have them. So when it comes to thinking of books that I want to reread, I mostly reread books that I see. There's a few digital books that I go to and reread on a more or less regular basis, but most of the books that I read digitally, that counts also for audiobooks, I don't go back to in the same way as I go back to physical books. And now the hardest part is reading nonfiction in a digital form. I know that you can make notes easily on your Kindle, but for some reason that also doesn't work for me. It also annoys me if I am reading and there is a section and it's underlined and the message says like 120 people marked this section. I hate that. I don't want to know what other people marked or found interesting because it influences how I read that section. I put much more emphasis on it and think about oh, why is this important, which is nonsense because it was important for the people who marked it, but maybe they were marking it for a different reason than I'm reading the book. And especially with nonfiction, I also want to be able to pick up the book and flip back and forth. What I wanted to say is that even though I appreciate digital books and I see their benefits, the reading experience, I want it to be more physical. It helps me to sit down with a book and read a book and maybe mark pages or put notes in it. I don't know. Let me know in comments. I know everyone has their preferred format and sees the advantages and disadvantages and some things work for people differently. So let me know what works for you. What's your preferred format? What does it maybe change to the genre or what kind of books you read? Like I listen to most of my nonfiction on audio, whereas I like to read shorter books and novellas on Kindle because they are faster to read and I find the expense not so much for what I get. And they're easily available when you want to fast read. This could go on forever. I'm just going to stop talking now. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in comments and let's talk ebooks. Bye-bye.